say welcome back to you guys feeling good my name is Fukumi Pike Kran. so Hala was found written in an ancient Bible this is so shocking so let's check it out well, right now on Google Allah oh. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters I hope you're well many times Muslims trying to make Christians understand that Jesus Christ is not a God or a son of God, but a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in whom we Muslims also believe. We Muslims give the references from the Quran and Hadith, but today we will try to prove how Jesus Christ was indeed a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the verses of their own book, the Bible. The language in which Jesus Christ spoke was Aramaic. After the birth of Christ, Aramaic dialects were used as a literary language by Jews, Christians, and Gnostic groups. In one of the prominent seven sayings of Jesus Christ, also known as seven last words from the cross, Jesus Christ is calling out to God by the term Elohi. Most Christians don't even know that Jesus spoke Aramaic. Type in language of Jesus Christ. Do it right now on Google. So what was the language? There it pops up. Aramaic. Now the language is a Semitic language. The Semitic languages are Hebrew, Arabic, and Aramaic. Now I want you to type this in. Aramaic, word for God. And watch what pops up. Allah. Oh, Jesus Christ in his own language called God, Elah. So in Hebrew, it's Elohim or Elah. In Arabic, it's Allah. It's a word that's the same in three languages. It's not a name. Al means the. La means God. It's the same word in the language of Jesus Christ. Muslims and Christians and Jews are brothers. They're cousins. The fact that they fight each other is a disgrace. That's called ignorance. Elahi, Elahi, lima sabachtani. Which means, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? The Aramaic term for God appears as Ilaha in Biblical Aramaic and Allaha in Syriac. These words share their origin with the Arabic and Hebrew equivalents, all stemming from the Proto-Semitic word Il. On the cross, Jesus is said to have used this word, adding the possessive suffix to express his lament. My God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? This phrase is transliterated in Greek as Eloi. In this translation, the phrase can be understood as the lone God. The words Elohi or Elaha or Eloi all have the same meaning, which is Allah. How is this possible? If Jesus Christ himself was God or even the Son of God and he called upon Allah, while he was in desperate need. How does the statement of his justify his attribute of being the Son of God? Many Christians will try to counter this by saying that the word Eloi or Elahi doesn't appear many times while the word Ab or Abba is most commonly used, which means the Father. This gives the Christians a point to prove that God was indeed the Father of Jesus. But if he really was the Father of Jesus, then why are the other biblical prophets like Adam and Israel also mentioned as the son of God, the son of Enosh, the son of Seth, the son of Adam, the son of God? It is because the word son of God mentioned in the Bible does not mean the real son of God. God is far too pure to have a begotten son. This term means a pious, chosen, and religious person. Similarly, the term Ab or Abba, which means the Father, signifies God's role as the life giver, authority, and powerful protector, often viewed as immense, omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent with infinite power and charity that goes beyond human understanding. It is not logical enough that the Son of God died on the cross for the sins of the world while God himself could not save him. But if one applies logic and says that Jesus Christ was a messenger of God, then things are more likely to be explained because, like Jesus Christ, other messengers and prophets of God also endured 
difficult situations. If Jesus Christ has nothing to do with Islam, then why did he pray like the Muslims? And why was there a need for him to pray at all if he was the son of God or God himself? And going a little farther, he fell on his face and prayed saying, My father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Why did Jesus Christ say to himself that his disciples worshipped him all in vain? But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Why did both Jesus Christ and Prophet Muhammad وسلم, give similar answers when asked about the knowledge of the hour? But about that day or hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. They ask you, O Prophet, regarding the hour, when will it be? Say that knowledge is only with my Lord. He alone will reveal it when the time comes. It is too tremendous for the heavens and the earth and will only take you by surprise. They ask you as if you had full knowledge of it. Say that knowledge is only with Allah, but most people do not know. Never once did Jesus Christ ask his disciples to worship him. Never once did he claim to be the son of God or even God. He was not crucified on the cross, but rather lifted in the heavens and he will return to earth as a sign of the end of times. Our intentions are not to hurt the sentiments of any religious community, but only to make them return to the straight path. We do not want our brothers to feel that immense regret when Jesus Christ himself denounces any association with them. We ask our Christian brothers and sisters to ponder upon this video with an open heart and mind. وَإِذْ قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا عِيسَى بْنَ مَرْيَمَ أَنْتَ قُلْتَ لِلنَّاسِ اتَّخِذُونِي وَأُمِّيَ إِلَهَيْنِ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ قَالَ سُبْحَانَكَ قَالَ سُبْحَانَكَ مَا يَكُونُ لِي أَنْ أَقُولَ مَا لَيْسَ لِي بِحَقٍّ إِنْ كُنْتُ قُلْتُهُ فَقَدْ عَلِمْتَهُ تَعْلَمُ مَا فِي نَفْسِي وَلَا أعلم ما في نفسك إنك أنت علام الغيوب ما قلت لهم إلا ما أمرتني به أن اعبدوا الله ربي وربكم وكنت عليهم شهيدا ما دمت فيهم فلما توفيتني كنت أنت الرقيب عليهم وأنت على كل شيء شهيد May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us all to the straight path. Ameen. That's it for today, brothers and sisters. I hope you like the video. Wow. Interesting, guys. I'm so speechless. I've reacted to something, like, something similar to this before. Well, that was beautiful to watch. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more. Like, share, and comment. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.